Welcome to the August 20, 2024 prayer walk. Indeed, it is, a, it is our time to, to walk, to pray, to change our lives. This is the men, the mighty men of valor. We're here today on our prayer walk. We're here today to meditate, to pray, to change our lives, to exercise both in spirit and physically. We're here to enjoy the beauty of God's creation and to see and to witness that beauty in our own lives in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'd like to um, thank Prophet Isaka who uh, has enabled this event to take place. And I'd like to thank all the men that have come today so that we may walk and we may change our lives together in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So let us, um, let us pray. Let us pray. Holy Father, my Father, my Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to, to walk and to pray, to seek your face. As we go over these mountains, Lord Father, we, pr we pray, Lord my God, that you perfect our lives, that you change our stories, that indeed your favor would be upon us. We pray, Lord Father, that as we walk, as we, as we take each and every step, that we make progress towards our destinies. May each step result in, in success. May each step result in victory in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Are we good? Okay, gents, welcome to Clip Riviersburg Nature Reserve. It's going to be a, a beautiful walk. Um, we're going to, um, we'll, we'll start off over there um, and we're going to go around. You'll see there's a, there's a map. When we get to the map, we'll, we'll actually show you the, the route that we're going to take. We will, at particular places, just congregate to meet together once again because there are some who will be faster and some will be slower. We don't want to leave anyone behind. So there'll be particular places where we stop and we wait for each other so that everybody can, can, can come together. And at those places we'll also, we'll also uh, uh, give you a prayer point um, for you to be able to pray and to meditate on uh, as, we, as we progress so that um, you know this, this is not just for your for your, for your um, physical development. It is for your spiritual development. It is for your prayer life. It is for turnaround in your lives. Um, so as we walk um, uh, each, with each step and with each, uh, uh, um, um, uh, with, um, with each mountain that we climb, we want the mountains in your life to be made a plain. Okay. We want the mountains in your life to be made a plain. With each step that you make, you're stepping towards your destiny and your victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So as we begin, as we set off our first prayer point that we, we ought to be meditating upon, that we ought to be thinking about, that we ought to be praying uh, 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 to God through until we get to our first station, let us be in prayer and let us pray. Let us pray that as we take as we take a step, as we're taking a step, we are actually taking a step of faith. With each step that we make, it is a step of faith. So our prayer point is, as I take a step of faith, Father, change my destiny. Show yourself, show yourself in my plans, show yourself in my destiny, show yourself in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. So that's, that's the first prayer point that we're gonna be meditating upon until we get to our, next, to, our, uh, to our next stop. And at that stop, you'll be given a, 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 new, uh, a new prayer point as we, as we go along. Um, there are some people that are, st are still to join us. Yes, Pastor, I just received a call from Kinsley. Okay. Um, okay, so shall we give like five, 10 minutes before we set off? Yeah, so, so we're just gonna wait five, 10 minutes 
for them and then we'll set off and we'll, we'll, be, we'll be on our way. It is well. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, so it's advisable for you guys to take, to, to, to use the bathroom now. The next bathroom break that we'll, we'll have will be on the other side at the Omond, on the Omond um, uh, entrance.
Mercy for the nation, the mercy for, for, for our families, our children, our family members in the name of Jesus Christ. So the next prayer point we are going to cry for the mercy of God. That is to say you are walking, you are meditating inside the Father have mercy. Father have mercy. Amen. Yet yes, we are we are talking, but inside your inner heart, plead the mercy of God. Amen. It is well with us. So the prayer point is mercy. So let us continue. Amen.
as we now begin to properly climb the hills. So the hills that we've gone, gone over were just a starter. The real hills are ahead of us. And as we conquer those hills, let us begin to, to pray that every mountain in our lives, that God will make it a plain. That every high place, every place that seems to be an obstacle to our destiny, that seems to be an obstacle to us achieving what God has pronounced upon our lives, that will be made a plain. As we do that, God will begin to work to make every hindrance, every obstacle, every mountain a plain in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Lord, be with us in the downhills in as much as you're with us in the uphills. It is easy to remember you in times of struggle. Father, let us remember you in the times of blessings. As we've overcome, as we've overcome the challenges of yesterday and are ready to receive the blessing of tomorrow, Father, help us to remember you in the time of the blessing, in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us pray that prayer point as we go, as we go down the mountain, will, there will be another mountain that will ascend to, that will, be, that will take us to a crossroads. We will stop there again and we'll raise another prayer point at that point. Thank you. Right. In life, in life, there are surprise mountains that you encounter on the way. We've overcome the big surprises. We've overcome the small surprises. In the big surprises and in the small surprises, it is God that sees us through. So as we, in our next phase, we're going to be walking over the plains, over flat ground. Let us thank God for the plains in our lives. Let us thank God for those, for those places where we can rest, those places where God refreshes us. The word tells us that he leads us, he leads us through, through the valleys. He leads us through green pastures. As we go through the green pastures of life, let us pray that God remains with us and that he gives us peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Great.
the next prayer point as you can see we're about to cross over so as we cross over as we cross over our Red Sea as we cross over our Jordan to our promised land let the Lord lead us let the Lord lead us we have overcome the hills we've overcome the mountains in our lives but we need the leading of God to be able to take over our promised land this stream that we are that we're crossing over now it is the same as the Red Sea it is the same as the as the Jordan as we cross over we're crossing over into something different we're crossing over into newness yes. August is the eighth month eight is the number of newness it is a fresh beginning a new beginning a beginning as an overcomer in the name of Jesus Christ so as we cross over I want you to pray this into your lives that you're crossing over into a new beginning that everything begins afresh and you're beginning from a position of strength with the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ amen Here we go yeah Okay, so as we've come to 
as we get to the end, it is just for us to say thank you, Jesus. The end looks similar to the beginning. It always looks like you're back where you started, but you're not. The things that you've overcome, you may not see them with the naked eye, but you have overcome them. And if you're willing to believe, then you'll see a difference in your life. The things that you've left behind, you have to have truly left them behind in your heart. The fears that you had, the issues of life that, you, that you've experienced before, the things that were following you before, you've left them behind. And you need to say to, to God, you need to say to your father that I've left these things behind and as I have left them, newness has come. And I thank you, Jesus, that you've enabled me to leave those things behind. It is not by our own power that we're able to leave the things that follow us behind. You can never do it in your own strength, but you can do it in God's strength. But you have to believe. The key thing is to believe. If only you can believe that God is now the barrier between your yesterday and yourself today, then the victory that you've experienced, it will become permanent. So let us walk in that permanence, that permanence of victory, that permanence of turnaround. As we cross over the finish line, let us be able to have in our hearts that word that says, my yesterday is finished, my today has come. And God, God, the God of all, he stands in between my yesterday and my today to make sure the things of yesterday don't follow me to today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. It was my first time. Uh, from from today, I will uh, I will join going forward. And uh, yeah, like like our father said, uh, he had a, uh, even myself, I had a pain here, uh, but uh, now I'm not feeling it. So, wow. Wow. so <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So yeah. it was a good experience for me. Yes, pastor. So yeah, going forward, I will join. Okay. No, no, I think the same sentiment that everyone has. Um, it was also my first time coming. Um, I'm usually in the gym. This was different. So, <laughs> so I'll, hopefully I'll also uh, start coming in a bit more often. I think what I took most out of is just the brotherhood, just people coming together. I think it's quite important for the body of Christ um, to just build that, you know, build that bond outside of church. And it's great to hear that things like soccer as well can come into the into it, and then also to there's multiple things we can do, yes, yes. you know. So to always maybe come together and just unite. Um, I think it's it's a good initiative, yeah. And thank thank you for the opportunity as well. Thank you to to the man of God as well for allowing us to be a part of this house. I think I know I know him being just him being around made people come out of their homes. But I hope we can also maintain the same spirit, even if he's not there. So yeah, that's my take. Thank you. Thank you very much for the invitation. 
it was a nice surprise uh, and I think it was also a great fellowship throughout the, the whole process. So uh, the, the hike, the, pray, uh, the, the, the stops and the prayers and the word, I think it just made it a very good experience. It's a good experience, uh, you know, coming to church, there were some people I don't even speak to after church, I just go, but now I can talk to Janitor, I've never talked to Janitor before, <laughs> but these two days we are talking, <laughs> even my father there, yeah. we never talk, but now we can talk, we joke, it's a great experience, so let's just keep it up doing it, thank you. Okay, now we thank God, we can ask for God, how was the experience? No, it was good, thanks God to all came. With you guys, we can build this thing like this all the time. Yes. With the name of Jesus, amen. Okay. No, thank you, thank you. Guys, our ideas are, are all welcome. You know, I'm saying in the house of God, you must never feel as a regret. You must say, hey, the, left, the world that we left was nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Where we are is more nice. So let us encourage ourselves. Be there for one another. Pray for one another as a men's fellowship and also don't keep quiet tell people about your experience what you experienced today yeah so also we'll be you know putting a lot on our social media streams so to communicate to people outside who don't know what we are doing you know if we don't create a fun for ourselves as men you know we'll get ourselves men don't want to be bored you know We'll go back to drinking. <laughs> you must not place that on TV. <laughs> it will not happen, God forbid. God forbid. No, we can't. Um, guys, thank you very much. Let love lead. Okay, thank you. Now, one thing as men is that we, we often go through life isolated. We are very isolated because we bear on our shoulders the weight of the responsibilities of our families. There are things that we don't share with our kids, there are things that we don't share with our wives, there are things that just rest upon our shoulders alone and we feel that we are alone in the world. But we're not alone. We have each other. And men's ministry is about letting each and every one of us know that we have one another and we're able to talk to one another. I like what my brother here has said, that he's now able to talk to any one of us. And that is one of the key things that we want to build in this platform, the ability for men to be able to talk to one another and to say, hey, I've got this issue, I've got this problem. What do you think? Uh, what's your advice on this? I'm battling to overcome this. How do I overcome it? Uh, can you walk with me? Can you hold me accountable? Uh, what can I do to overcome this issue? So this is the platform that we're trying to um, that we're, tr we're trying to build. And as you know, um, you know, as we're walking, it was not just a, a physical exercise. What you were doing was a prophetic act. It was a prophetic act, and you will see that there are lots of things in the Bible that um, that were done prophetically that may not make sense at the time. You know, they may not make sense at the time. How do you throw a stick into water and the water becomes uh, good to drink? How do you throw salt into water and the water becomes good to drink, right? So there are many prophetic things that are done. But when you have the understanding of what you're doing, when you have the understanding that as I'm walking and as I'm overcoming these hills, um, they're being made a plain. Uh, they're being made a plane, things are being leveled in my life. Then that rema word that you speak into yourself, it begins to act on your behalf. When they threw the stick into the water, they were throwing the cross into the living water, but they did not know it. But because they did that, the water was healed. Many of you are talking about feeling, oh, my body is, is strong now, I'm feeling healed. Yes, you are healed, you know. You might, not, you might not have known what was happening, but God was already working through the faith that you exhibited in coming and in walking. So there are things that we'll do that will appear just like we're having fun, but they are doing something in your life. 
because we don't want anybody here to remain at the same level. Our vision is that the men of this ministry must get to the next level. The next level in your finances, the next level in your businesses, in your workplaces, in your marriages. We want that next level for you. And so some of the things that we'll ask you to do might appear silly. <laughs> you know, uh, we're a little bit more creative than the usual. So the women will say, ah, let's just go to the mountain and pray. Yes, okay. There are days when we'll go to the mountain and pray. But there are also days that we'll do creative things. But in those creative things, there's a prophetic act that will change your life. So, so be encouraged. Um, there'll be a lot more of these things. And stay plugged in. That's the important thing. Stay plugged in. I want to see a change by the end of this year in your lives. And I'm believing God for it. If you will stand with me in believing that your life is going to get to the next level by the end of this year, then you'll have a great testimony come the end of this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Men of valor, arise and shine. Men of valor, arise and shine. Men of valor, arise and shine. Amen. It is well with us. So as Pastor uh, Barakatu was just uh, updating on the program, so we're looking into soccer, that's yeah, what you said. Okay, so. You can start with yeah. any uh, Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Next event is the soccer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think on the platform, the WhatsApp will be communicating yeah, more on that. Yeah, yeah, seeing how. Yeah. And okay. I think if, 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 you are, if, you're not, if you're not part of the WhatsApp group, maybe you can come, come see Mr. Katu or. Yeah one of the leaders and just ask them if they can add you onto the WhatsApp group as well. Uh, so because we'll be updating everything there as well. And uh, yeah, and, and as I say, I, I think this is just a platform for men to actually mingle and to be able to connect and to, you know, because as I say, sometimes, you know, you, you know, I mean, some of us were in business, but we don't know what, I mean, who can actually help us to go to the next level. And, you know, it, through these platforms, we'll be able to, to engage, we'll be able to help each other, you know. And, and, and so let's take it in that way and let's also see it as, a, as, a, as, a, as an opportunity that God has given us to just basically grow in all different ways as well, spiritually and physically. So thank you, guys. Thank you. Men, read your Bible, please. Read your Bible. Let us read our Bibles. I could not leave that one out. It's very important. It helps us a lot. It sinks us. It makes us to understand where we are coming and where we want to go. But it is well with us. I will not waste time. I had to evangelize Oscar Stamman Coco. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Mama, thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Okay, and then uh, here, we're going to take one and then we'll okay. go out. Oh, okay. One drink, one uh, okay. container. Okay. Then let us meet upstairs at 1 o'clock.